This video covers filling in the Display Settings class. We will be using the Oxygen XML Editor. In this video, we will cover filling out the Display Settings class for an Array 2D image, how to augment your label with classes from the Display Dictionary to include metadata that governs viewing an array as an image, how to reference another section of the label with the Local Internal Reference class, and we'll give a demonstration of viewing the image from the label file in PDS4 Viewer. Feel free to pause or go back in this video at any time. The Display Settings class resides in the Discipline area and contains metadata that software can read to correctly interpret and display the values in an array as an image. This class exists under the Display Dictionary namespace, so XML tags here will begin with the DISP prefix to denote the separate namespace. We'll need two classes for our display settings, Local Internal Reference and Display Direction. Local Internal Reference is part of the core information model and does not use the DISP namespace. Used here, it identifies which object the Display Settings class applies to. In our case, that's the Array 2D image we're trying to display. For this example, we chose a unique value for the local identifier attribute in the Array 2D class that we can point to now. Insert that value into the Local Identifier Reference attribute. If we had multiple arrays in a single label, one for each backplane in a FITS image, for example, each would have a unique local identifier to disambiguate them, and an instance of the Display Settings class would be required for each one. After Local Identifier Reference comes Local Reference Type, an attribute which in this case must have the value Display Settings to Array. This value indicates to any program reading the label what we explained before, the reason we're referencing another section of the label. The next required section of Display Settings, the Display Direction class, describes how an array should be displayed. It does this by referencing each axis of the array and identifying which direction along that axis pixels should be drawn. Display Direction is in the Display Dictionary namespace, so the class and all its attributes must have the DISP prefix in their XML tags. Display Settings is used to display 2D images. While an image array might have more than two axes for color channels, time, or other components, what matters here are the horizontal and vertical axes of our image plane. In Array 2D image, these are identified by the sample and line axis names respectively. If you reference the wrong or non-existent axis, PDS4 Viewer will warn you that the label does not have valid display settings. It will still display an image, but using arbitrary choices about axes that may not be correct. Each axis has only two valid values, depending on the direction in which pixels are read. For the horizontal display axis, those values are left to right and right to left. For vertical display axis, top to bottom or bottom to top. Wrong values for these attributes will flip your image across its respective axes. Notice the spacing and case for the values of the horizontal and vertical display axes. These must be exactly right or the label will not be valid and might not be read correctly by tools such as the PDS4 viewer. Your complete Display Settings class resides in the Discipline area of the label, an optional wrapper class containing any entries from various discipline dictionaries you may need. For an image that might include pointing metadata from the di Geometry Dictionary or camera settings from the Imaging Dictionary, Discipline area is inserted at the bottom of the Observation area class. Now that we've created our label file with the appropriate display settings, we can view the image from the label file on PDS4 Viewer. If we have done everything correctly, we should see an image. To properly see the image, you may need to adjust the scaling parameters. PDS4 Viewer contains a few options for doing so, such as the IRAP Zscale algorithm. And here is our image. 
In this video, we covered filling out the Display Settings class for an Array 2D image. We showed how to augment your label with classes from the Display Dictionary to include metadata that governs viewing an array as an image, and how to reference another section of the label with the Local Internal Reference class. We also showed a demonstration of viewing the image from the label in the PDS4 viewer.